What's up everyone, this is Tyson. Lately I've been working on all of these Tornoses and really digging into solid cam. So today I wanted to share the top five things that I really like about solid cam coming from another cam software. Something that really stood out to me was how easy it was to jump from a previous cam software straight into solid cam. The menus and toolpaths are laid out in a way that's easy to understand. A lot of it was just trying to find where all the buttons were that I was used to in a previous software and just trying to find their new locations. It was really nice having an online academy that I could reference to help me out for getting my bearings going. But after a little bit, I was just able to start plugging in toolpaths and I'm almost done programming this part that I have on the screen. Being user-friendly doesn't really sound all that special, but it's something you can't take for granted in cam software. I've heard from Barry and Jesse and other machinists that there's software out there where you can use that software, but you're not going to be making a part just off of day one without any training. I didn't have that trouble with solid cam at all. So I was able to get going. I almost have this first part that I'm programming for the GT done. And another thing that really stood out to me was when I was doing the milling on this part. From the previous cam software that I used, one thing that really drove me crazy was whenever I did milling toolpaths, was having to make all this new geometry whenever I was doing like simple milling and having to create all this geometry on the part along with the work planes. And I found that Solid Cam's way of doing it is super easy. So it's really easy to make new coordinate systems to place your Z's in different spots for your milling toolpaths and any other work that needs a new axis. But also selecting the geometry that you're actually cutting is super simple. This facing operation that I have right here, for example, all you have to do is select where on the model is the face you want to cut. I set my type as faces and it made the geometry box for me without any extra wireframe geometry or having to edit the model at all. It even took into account the chamfers that I have on the hex. And it's really easy to adjust and resize that box. So I really like how easy it is to do live tooling operations in SolidCAD. Another thing that I thought was really cool was how easy it is to build out your tools in SolidCAD you can visually see those tools after you build them and how they'll look on your turret. It's especially important in Swiss machines, but it's also nice to do in mill turns and lathes because you can see how your turret is going to stack up and if you're going to have any clearance issues with any of the tools. You can visually see those tools that you have on the main gang and you can even put in specialty holders like the quick change golden bolt holders that we have. Building out the tools is easy, but you can also import the geometry from a 3D model. And if you're happy with your setup and you're going to constantly use it on other jobs, you can save it as a template to load for future projects. And building out your holders is important because that brings me to the next thing that I really like, which is the simulation. Now you know from me running the 9-axis that I've always said that you need a good simulation for a machine that complex. And the Tornoses are no exception. You want to see when you have all these tools running at once or you have different tools on different sides of the machine that you're not going to have any conflicts or anywhere that they're going to crash into each other. It loads super quick. I can see everything that's happening in the machine. They even have a little machine housing with our logo on it. <laughs> but then when you start running it, I got my face pass, my drill happening, got the peck drill cycle, and I could make sure that any tools next to each other are gonna have enough clearance to run this operation. Or if I need to stick out any tools, like I've found out on some of my milling operations, I actually have to extend them in order to not crash. So it's really helpful. And I think it's necessary whenever you're running machines this complex to have a really good simulation. A big game changer to me coming from other cam software was how easy it was to make changes to the part in the middle of programming without breaking everything in the program. For example, we had these wire holes on this part, this one right here. I originally made them 60 thousandths, but then I saw that the only drills we had were 70 thousandths drills, and I wanted to make that hole bigger. I was just able to go straight into the solid model, resize it. It was super easy to make that change, and the only thing that I had to do was go into the drill and the coordinate system because I moved the hole, because I made it bigger, I just had to change the coordinate system and re-click on the hole to make a new one. I had a similar thing going on with the groove pass. 
I actually made an adjustment to the wireframe to put an OD chamfer on the back of my part so that my hex wouldn't have too many burrs. And then I added a little chamfer to the OD of the material so that there wouldn't be any burrs when it's retracting the stock. This is one of the simplest examples I can give you because it's just a wire hole being resized but there's been so many times before where I've made a last minute change on a model because of all the multi-axis work that I had on the part or even just simple milling that I'm doing. I've had to reattach all of those tool paths to the parts because after making the changes, I'm basically reloading a new model and it doesn't know any of these tool paths anymore. I don't have to worry about this with solid cam and I think that's really nice that you can make changes without it destroying your program. Those were just some first impressions that I had about SolidCam that I wanted to share with you guys. This video actually came about because I was talking to Jesse the other day about what I liked about SolidCam and we were talking about cam software and all the ones he worked on and I was like, why don't we do a video about it? So here we are. Like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. I've got this part that I'm programming in SolidCam. We're gonna be running it on the GT. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.